Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of my Invasion series. So, it has been a really long time since I have recorded with this series. Uh, so you're going to have to forgive me, um, what, <laughs> partially because it's taken so long, but also partially too because I, I have to relearn all my keys and all the controls and everything that has was going on here since I last recorded, which was like forever ago. But I, wanted to, I do want to finish this series off. I know I, I've said it several times, but I really have wanted to get back to it. I just had other things I needed to do. Uh, plus, I've been having a really good time playing Rogue Tech and Seven Days to Die. But I do still love Invasion. I'm probably going to do another series after this one for um, the Invasion series. I can see if I can get my kids involved with that one, but we'll see what happens. But anyway, I am working on, if we have a look at our uh, quest book here. So the goal now is to try and finish building this rocket. Now, I don't know how difficult it's going to be, but we need to build uh, a place for a fueling station. And I believe... Uh, yeah, we need to be able, be able to build a um, a place for a chemical reactor, and then I think a fueling station, and then... Um, okay, we need to be able to build an electrolyzer as well. So, yeah, it's been, like I said, it's been a while since I've been uh, playing this game. So I've kind of did a little bit here. I've just been trying to... Um, get used to all the controls again so I figured what we'll do is we're going to dig into the wall here a little bit because this is right underneath our base and it, it's fine here um we shouldn't have to worry about anybody tunneling in here you know he says <laughs> but who knows we've had people tunneling into our base before um but I want to set them up down here so they're next to the rocket we don't have to transport stuff a good distance so I am just going to you know talk and uh dig here so like I said, I haven't been able to have a chance to play uh, this for a while. So um, I took like maybe 20 minutes here before um, I started recording because I had to kind of like relearn all my controls. And that's going right down into that. Yeah. Okay. Well, not so bad. I remember there was a cave under there. I just didn't think it was that close. All right. Well, that's fine. I know we said we were going to build something down here, but it'd still be nice. I mean, it depends on how long this series goes for. There's still a lot to do. Um, like, if we have a look at the quest book real quick here, there's still, like, a ton of quests that, you know, I haven't finished all my scrapping. I haven't finished all my survivalist automation. I haven't even attempted a settlement. Uh, upgrades, which is, like, cyberware and then the blast off. I want to kind of get the rocket into place. So if things get too crazy, I mean, we're on... Uh, Raider stage four here. So uh, if things get too crazy, then we can just get out of here. Um, but yeah, so let's get this all mined out. Now, normally I like to um, finish off all the walls, but I think I'm only going to finish off... Oops, that was too much. The walls at the front here. So going to keep this so that we can keep it continuing to expand it. Because we're most likely going to have to do that. I don't know how much room we're really going to need in here for all the gear. Um, remembering from the the other episodes, thinking that a lot of the stuff that uh, we were making didn't require a lot of room. And then realizing that, uh, oh yeah, it does require a lot of room. Oh my god, it's getting dark down here. Oh, come on. Do it. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's get some. Do we have torches? I don't know if I have torches on me. Uh, I do. Excellent. Uh, are these normal torches? They are. Perfect. Okay, cool. I'm just going to light a little bit down here. It's just so you guys can see. I mean, we don't really need to light this up, but it's just so that you guys can see what we're doing down here. Um, I mean, I could technically just go through and not actually light anything up and just build down here, but don't have to worry about that. The great thing about this concrete is that mobs don't spawn on it. So once you've laid it down, you really don't have to worry about mob spawns. Well, I mean, you kind of do still. Um, but just not where you're putting the concrete down. Alright, so that's that. Let's dig out a little bit in here. It's nice that this is all gravel. It's so quick to go through. Okay. And I think we need to put concrete on the floor here. Just in case something crazy happens. 
I don't know how close to the cave. I mean, we're pretty close to the roof of the cave here. Actually, you know what? Let's pull this guy and this guy just so that we can stay consistent here. We know what our tunnelers are like. Okay, so let's get this. Yeah, so my goal, once we get the rocket, the uh, sit, place set up here for building rocket fuel and everything, uh, we're going to need to build a rocket tower, but I think probably what I'll do, uh, while we're waiting for a lot of the uh, rocketry resources to uh, accumulate, I think getting the uh, fuel, like the chemical, re like chemicals for making rocket fuel and stuff takes quite a while. Not 100% sure, but I get, I get the feeling that it's going to take a little while. So we want to get that set up, let it run. And then we'll go off and do other stuff. Um, there's still lots of things to do in this, on the uh, world here, so... Okay, and we're out. Do we have any more? No, we're going to have to go make some more concrete. Okay, that's fine. God, I'm getting used to these controls again. It's just crazy. After playing, like, seven days to die, it's like all my key bindings are all slightly different, so it's, like, really, really difficult. Okay, so where is... I keep forgetting I have to right click on stuff. Um, we're going to destroy a ch uh, thing there. Um, we need gravel. What do we need for concrete again? Stone. And we need uh, clay, right? Four stone, four clay, and one gravel, if I'm not mistaken. Let's find out. I think it's the stone. And then the clay and the gravel in the center? No. Um, are these reversed? Nope. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to... Really? Man. Okay. Concrete. Uh, concrete. Where are we here? Uh, okay. What am I missing? I know. Tier. Here we go. Tier one. Hardened block. That's what it's called. Okay. Oh, gravel stone. And sand. I was like way off. Well, stone is this. That's why. Okay. That's why. Wait a minute. I thought it was we. That's gravel. Oh my god, I don't even know how to make stone. Cobblestone, how do we make you now? Um. Oh, it's a monster egg. Durr. Yeah, one clay and three rocks. Why am I not... Is it... Do I have to do it in a specific spot? Apparently. Yeah, that totally makes sense, eh? Uh, how much do we got here? Not quite enough. Almost. There we go. So that's that. So... Uh... Right, we need sand, we need gravel. Gravel we can make this way. I'm not sure how much gravel we do have. Let's find out. How much gravel do we have? Doesn't look, oh, we do. And we need a stack of sand. Actually, let's use the red sand, because why not? It'd be nice if these created uh, red blocks. All right, put those there. Got enough now. Let's put you in here, and, and then let's destroy this workbench. That's one thing I do remember. Um, is it the stone goes on the inside? I'm pretty sure it was. Pretty sure. I'm out of... I didn't take enough gravel. Are you serious? Boom! Whoops. Did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Oh, for crying out loud. 
The right clicking driving me nuts. At least we get the block back though. Okay, uh, let's get another workbench. Workbenches. And we have more gravel. 10. Oh, we got 64. All right, that should be plenty. Let's get this bench down here. I keep uh, hitting my enter key to open my uh, inventory and that is not the key I need to be touching. Oh, come on. Um, you and you do that. Okay. Now, do we have enough? Oops, that's where stone's got to go. Do we have enough for... Not quite. So do we have... Do we not have enough for uh, what I wanted to make? We're one stone short, really? Oh, because we had to do this. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Uh, thank God the workbench holds us. We don't have any clay. Because of course we don't. Um, right click, because left click doesn't work. Uh, well, I think we have enough concrete now, do you think? Uh, let's grab... <laughs> I forgot how much this stuff, this stuff makes. It's so much. Alright, we don't need to make any more. Let's just deposit that in there. I think we got concrete for years now. Oh, it, I thought it held the... Uh, oh, well. What do you do, right? Um, okay, so... Let's put a few more of those in there. We're not going to need more than a couple stacks down there, I don't think. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, so I'm going to have to figure out how to make the chemistry station because I don't know how to build a lot of this stuff here, uh, which means I'm probably going to have to go online to figure that out. So if we make... It's most likely going to be three out why I kind of wanted to make this at least three deep. So if we put it here, um, do we need to go back one more? I think we do. I think we need to go back a couple more actually. So I'm going to dig this out. Um, and then once I have this dug out, what I'll do is go online, figure out what it is we need to do to build these the chem station. Raid 5! Really? It was 4 when I logged in. Well, there's our tunnel. Um, I'll go online, figure out what it is I need to do to build these things, and then when I come back we'll just put them together. Because, yeah, I don't know. I wish it was just as easy as using that wand, but it doesn't appear to be so. Like, you put the wand down and it's like, it shows you the shape, but it doesn't tell you all the blocks you need. So it's the same issue that we had with the uh, machines that we have upstairs. Well, that filled that hole. Okay, so let me clear this out. Um, and I will set it up. I think we'll leave the, like, I was going to fill all this in, but I think the roof being this high is fine. I just don't want to spend the time to fill all this in. So this is okay. Um, if we need height in here to for two, for uh, machinery or whatever, we got the height for it. So we'll leave it like that. So, okay, I'm going to clear this out, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I figured out how to make the two machines we need to make. However, is that a skeleton? So much, so much like a skeleton. Totally not, but probably the water. Okay, so um, the electrolyzer. We do need to get water input, and it looks like we're pretty close to that already. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, so my thought is, is that I don't know if this is going to work or not. I want to set it up so that uh, we get a fluid input. Uh, let's grab some transfer pipes and we're going to need a fluid transfer node. I think we need two of them. Um, hmm. 
We're also going to need power cables because we've got to run I, I completely forgot we need to run power down there. We've got seven. We're going to need a lot more than that. So energy conduit is conductive iron and conduit binder. Uh, con uh, conductive iron is easy to make. Do we have any conduit binder in here? Uh, I can't see any offhand. It could be in here though. Conduit binder. Conduit binder. Where are you? Wherefore art thou my conduit binder? Uh, let's make... Six of those, and I don't see conduit binder here anywhere. I know it's relatively easy to make. I just would rather not have to make it unless I have to. Uh, I'm I know it's probably here somewhere, but I'm just not seeing it. Oh, there we got four. Oh wow, that's uh, just great. A whole four pieces. That's just just wonderful. All right, we gotta make some anyway. So let's do this and this. Binder composite is two sand, two clay, and a five gravel, which should be relatively easy enough. Um, so if we're going to make it, let's make a fair bit. Uh, well, not a fair bit, but enough that it's not going to have to require us coming back to get more. So conduit binder. And this and this and there's that so we should just easily be able to cook this up actually we can do it in here why do I have to make my life hard just put it in there uh, and let that go and then we'll do this in a second transfer nodes um, so um, let's see here Transfer nodes, fluids, is regular stone, easy enough, clay bucket, easy enough, and a redstone with transfer pipes. This gives us four nodes, but I would rather not use the material. This just gives us one. We're only going to need two of these. So four redstone, four, uh, we got we got the pipes on us, and four stone and two buckets. The bucket's easy enough. Uh, where's our clay here? To make two buckets, we need stone, which I know we have, because we keep getting it out of the, the sieves. My god, I should really organize this. Uh, we've got two stone, really. All right, well, we make two more. Easy enough. Um, so four stone, uh, two buckets. We got our transfer nodes, and we need... Is it redstone? I think it was redstone. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Redstone. Okay, let's go over here. Make ourselves some buckets. I'm assuming we're not getting the buckets back. So let's do that. Do that. Do that. There's our buckets. Oh, I should have... Yeah, I should have done this first. There we go. Problem solved okay so we've got our two stone one of those let's just put two there for now actually let's not because we remember what happened last time and we don't have our buckets so you know let's do that there we go let's fix this problem Okay, and then we want to do, um, what am I missing here? Redstone. Right, got these mixed up. Right, yep. Okay, we got two of those now. Um, oh, we did get our buckets back, that's bizarre. I thought for sure would have kept the buckets. Ah well, what do you do? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Okay, got a bunch more of those. I don't know if 16 will be enough either. Probably won't, but we do have still we do have still have some left in here. Uh, we had it in here, didn't we? Let's just put it down here. 23. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Um, oh, you know what we're missing is a motor. Going to need a motor here. Going to make a gold one. So we need steel plates. 
steel rods and a couple of gold coils. The gold coils, easy enough, just need 16 gold. And that's two coils right there. Uh, steel plates and steel rods. Now, do we have any steel plates? We got rods. Do we have any steel plates? That's the question. These are aluminum, aluminium. Um, hmm. Don't see any. All right, let's make three real quick here. Where's our steel? Okay, three steel plates, and then should be good to go. I'm hoping. One. My God, I wish this was faster. Two. And three. Okay, come on. Here we go. Oh, wait, we need six. Oh, no, we don't. Right. I thought I was making two there for a second. We need two coils. Right. Okay, that and that. And there's our motor, and that goes with this guy here, which is the chemical reactor and the electrolyzer. So the electrolyzer needs to be near water. So my thought was... I don't think it's going to work. All right, we're going to need to get... I was going to just do a hole here. But i got to dig through the wall, get outside, put a block down, oh, yada, yada, yada. This will probably be a little easier, maybe, uh, if we can dig through to um, water here. Should be pretty close. Actually, it should be uh, here. Maybe we just move the whole electrolyzer closer to the water. That's probably the better plan. Okay, so that's four. This is the inside of this. So five is the wall. So our wall is here, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, there's the water. So let's... I don't think we brought any concrete. I don't think we brought the concrete that we needed. Let's get rid of this. Um, nope, we did not. Because, duh. Alright, let's get the concrete. Oh my god, I made it in one jump that time. Okay. I should really be keeping all this stuff in a backpack. I've been playing Seven Days to Die far too long. And there is no extra backpacks in that. Where is my backpacks? A healing backpack there. Where have I been storing them? You'd think I would know this. Oh my god, they're in my inventory. Really? Apparently. Alright, let's just put this stuff in here for now until we figure out what's going on downstairs. So, that's all the stuff we need to build things with. Um, yes, so let's keep that there. And then we can take another thing of concrete here. I keep calling it concrete, but it's reinforced block, whatever you want to call it. All right, let's fix this. Can we get out here? Come on. You can do it. Nope, apparently I can't. God darn it. Okay, break it. Where are you? You washed away my torches. What's this? Nope, I didn't get the block back. I don't know how it went. All right. Um, you and you. Can I get you in there? Got it. Nice. Well, this is going to be fun. Come here, you. Excellent. All right, uh, well, we know where the water is, so that's a good thing. Okay, let's put a torch up uh, here so you guys can see what we're doing. All right, now, um, I think I can dig this out safely. Okay, so I think our electrolyzer needs to kind of be right on this side. At least it's only the fish that can dig their way in, which I don't think they'll do. Okay. Okay. So I wonder... Now let's block that off. Come on. Get up there. There we go. 
block that off. Grab these. Um, Got to figure out where the water is going to come from. How's this doing? Okay. That'll be wall. You know what I should do? This is kind of a crazy notion. I don't know if we can pump up water from down here though. Oh, it's a single block. I don't think that's going to work. Maybe it will, I don't know, but I like the idea of taking it out here much better. Uh, what's this? Okay. So. Okay. Um, we don't want it here because that the electrolyzer is going to sit like one block away from the wall here. So it's going to be like right here. It's a it's too high by three wide by two deep. And then we need an input on the back of it to get the water in. So we need one space here. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Okay. And here. Okay, nice. All right, let's get all this stuff up. And then what we'll do, we can do this one block at a time here. So all we need to do is find a way. We don't need this stuff. We don't need this stuff. I want to kind of minimize. Maybe the water comes in from here. So let's put a block there. You know, I like the idea of having to pick up the blocks, but it can be a nuisance sometimes. Okay. Fortunately, there's no water there. I'm sure there is here, though. Yep. All right. So that can go there. And then that can go there. Right, and then, okay, uh, I want to go here. Yeah, that's where I want to go, right, like that. So that can go like that. And for now, let's grab a piece of, well, not gravel. I guess we'll have to grab this. Let's put this here. So that's where the water is going to come in from. Um, so, how are we going to do this here? I got to have. A block out there. To attach the input to. So if we go like this and like this. No, it's not going to work. That won't work. Shoot. Um, it's not going to work because when I put the block... I don't know if I have to be right up against water. That's the thing. Do I have to be right up against water? Um, so the, qu the question is... You know what? We'll do it and we'll find out. Screw it. Let's just do it. If we're going to do it, we're going to do it. Come on. There we go. Get a little bit of protection there. I mean, I don't think anyone's going to come in this way, but have some protection. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take out this. And we'll take out this. Come on. Okay, we'll put some of these down here, like that, and then we'll go here. Um, huh. Alright, let's just try this. Okay, so let's build the electrolyzer. We know it's going to go here. 
if we have to run it a different way we can certainly do that uh, so let's grab the stuff out of here all right so our electrolyzer is going here here oh for Christ's sake really here all right so electrolyzer is this guy goes there these are fluid output hatches two of them okay and then um, that's the input hatch here then we need two um, machine blocks and then from what I remember the coil goes here and then our power input plugs go here and here and I think that's it nope what am I missing that's input hatch that's why it's the fluid input we need that's a fluid output where's our input that's input power plug fluid input hatch there we go right that should be it now there it is okay cool now we just got to run water to the back of this thing so we're gonna do um, this channel of water then we need to put a transfer node I think like I think it has to be a transfer node maybe it doesn't I think it's just a, a uh, fluid transfer pipe yeah I'm pretty sure that's all it is and then what we'll do is we'll go to here and then we'll go to here and then I think I don't know if this is gonna work or not but we can do it like that now I don't know if, I, if I'm gonna be able to tell if we're getting water till we get power in here um, can we tell back here it's empty I don't know because maybe we need power um, so let's do this uh, we don't need that one and this now I want to go down I want to go down from whoop whoop ah come on there we go I'm gonna go down here I'm hoping A little over I think uh, how far in are we here so from the edge of the wall we're one two three four five six seven eight in okay so we're one two three four five six hope we don't get flooded out seven oh there it is here we go all right so let's make this some hardened blocks and we're gonna fill all this in as well and of course that's water because why wouldn't it be okay one, two, three. And here. So we're a lot closer than I thought it was. And we had a look up there. I, I don't need all this protection, but, you know, I'm kind of fickle that way. Whatever. As much protection as we can get. All right, let's put one in here. And then we'll run them 
down here. Okay, and now our power can just come straight down here. If I can actually just get... I'm going to need a wrench on that. A wrench on that. Alright, um, whoops. Don't. Alright, so this can come... Actually, we can shorten this. And then let's put two in here. Because we're not going to need to go back in there again. I hope. I hope, he says. Chances are, knowing my luck, we will. Let's run the power along here as well. Just for now, we'll drop it down to wherever we need it. So this should, yeah, getting power now. All right, so let's see if we're getting water. Should be getting water. Empty, we're not getting water. This has to go out one more. Uh, so, problem is, that means we have to go outside in the water. And we're going to get attacked by fish. Okay, that'll block that. So, we need to put the thing right there. So, the best way to do that... Would be to do this. Whoop, let's get it ready first. Right, and we come out here and do that. That should work now, in theory. In theory, nothing. Nothing. Maybe there does need to be a transfer node on here. Let's find out. Oh, come on. And then we need a pipe. <sighs> what am I missing? This is a fluid transfer node. Um, what am I missing? Why is it not working? Ha! Huh. That's going to be a huge issue. With no fluid... Maybe it needs to be on? Maybe not? No, it's wrong. Alright, i got to figure out what the heck. I don't know how we're going to get water then. Maybe that transfer node needs to be above the water looking down. I'll figure that out in a minute. we got to put this other machine together first. Um, so, if we have a look here. Come on. Come on, you know you can do it. Oh, it's shift, right. Uh, we need to put in the chemical reactor. Chemical reactor. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, so this is output hatches back here. Input plugs, the power, machine structure, and then I believe it's power above. I'll have to go back and double check. Uh, okay, so uh, input hatches. That's power input plug, power input plug, fluid output. An output. Okay, where is my power plugs? Uh, I think this is probably a bad idea. We're going to do it over one. Power plug, power plug, because I need to get in here. Um, power plug, power plug. We've got a machine structure, back, middle. What's this? Fluid output hatch. Let's do that first. Um, fluid output, back there. Our machine structure, and we got an out regular output hatch. 
Oh, why am I missing an output hatch? Okay, where's our motor? Motor can go here. Uh, output hatch. Power input plug. In and out. Why am I missing so much? Did I just forget what I needed to... Really? Probably. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Ah, man. Okay. Um, let's go make those then. So these are the power inputs, right? So we're going to need to run power down to them. Uh, oh, and we need water. The other thing is we can do water tanks, but that means we just have to like be pumping water all the time. Um, okay, let me make these power plugs. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I finally think I got this figured out. Okay, so it's a regular output hatch on the bottom and a fluid output hatch on the bottom on this side. Fluid input on the top, fluid input on the top, and regular input here. The electrolyzer block there. And let's see if this is the case. And there it is. Okay, so we got that running. Let's get some power down here. Uh, we'll take this out and this out. I think we're short on cables too, but we'll have to check here. So we got six. That's going to be not enough. I don't... Oh, it might just be enough. Oh, I think it is. One power input and another power input. And we're getting power. Nice. Excellent. Okay, 1.5 speed. Not bad. I mean, it's, it is only a gold motor, so it's not going to be that fat, fast. And then our inputs, we can put... Uh, so if we're getting stuff from here, we can put it into containers and just drop it straight into here. Or I think we can pipe it straight into there too, which we might end up doing. Um, I might run pipes out of here, straight up and over and into these guys. Um, but we may have to kind of go up with one into there and up because one takes oxygen and one takes hydrogen I believe uh, so we'll have to kind of go up we'll figure this all out later at least we got the power now we got, all we have to do is figure out how to get water into here uh, that's the other thing so let me figure that out and I will be back see I don't think it I don't know why that water is not working it should just work off of oops I did not mean to do that uh, it should just work straight off like it was working before. Um, where it should just pump straight in, but I, I don't know. Um, let me figure that out and I'll be right back. Well, that was a lot of fun. Man, it took me forever to figure this out. I had to actually go and watch Tire Wolf's video with Palmar playing Invasion Series. So, we got our fluid conduit running up, si out, out, up outside, I've got a reservoir here just so that we can collect some. It's got it can hold 16,000 millibuckets, which is nice. Uh, this is slowly filling up. It should almost be done. Um, just the transfer node that's going straight in here. So upstairs, uh, what I had to do was build a fluid pump. Apparently, the uh, transfer nodes just don't work. So I built a fluid pump, and it's still going. Missing redstone signal. What? Right there. There we go. So it'll fill up its internal buffer and the water will drain downstairs, which we can then use to separate. We'll just leave this on. Uh, got our power hooked up here. So yeah, it took me a little while to figure that out. I'm just going to drop this in here for now. Um, we don't need to worry about turning that off. Well, we might turn it off a little later, but we can just knock this block out to do it. Uh, but yeah, so that is running. Now the other thing we're going to need to worry about, now we got the water going downstairs, great is we're going to start losing power like crazy. Uh, is This is draining, isn't it? No, it's going up. Okay, good. Plus 15 RF per tick. So I'm thinking that we're going to have to add more fuel cells or more um, uh, buffers in here just so that we can keep as much power as possible. Um, so I most likely will go ahead and do that. Now we're not running all the machines at once. They're all turned off, so that's good. But once we start making rocket fuel, it's going to start drawing a lot of power, I got a feeling. So that's one thing we're going to have to look at doing. Now, um, so there's a couple of ways we can actually get this thing going. And I'm thinking, I think I want to use the transfer, like, pumps. So this is one fluid hatch. 
and this is the other one and we have our fluid output here and here right so it's empty because we're not turned on yet now what I want to try and do I mean I guess I could use see the thing is is we've got plenty of transfer pipes if I use ender IO um, it's gonna cost me a lot of resources so this one should be relatively easy to do and the second one um, actually shouldn't be so bad either right uh, we'll come along here and we're at a friggin transfer pipe yep let's get some more we got lots upstairs I'm not worried about it um, so we can put the power conduit back in here now um, transfer node can go in here there's our pipes we got lots of these things so I'm not worried yeah so it was a bit of a I don't want to say a nightmare to figure out how to do that, but it was a bit of a pain, that's for sure. Okay, so now when we turn this on, right, um, it should be doing its thing. And now that should be pumping straight into, that's empty. Yeah, so this is slowly filling up with oxygen. I think when it gets full, it will transfer it here, I imagine. doesn't say which hatches these are I guess it doesn't really matter that's our hydrogen so we'll let that run for a bit see how that goes uh, now let's go up and have a look at our power I'm really really interested to see how much power is drawing now we we're at plus 15 RF before just kind of sitting still minus 25 we need power Okay, water mills are a possibility. Solar panels, another possible. Wow, well, what do we got over here? Where's your boss, buddy? Well, you didn't last very long. That's what happens. That's what you get. Bringing a dino out to a uh, turret fight. Oh, I guess it must have shot the rider off too. All right, sure. How are we doing with ammo here? Yeah, we gotta start putting some ammo up here. Wow, these things have been doing a lot of killing. I gotta say. Uh, so let's drop these in there. Okay, well let's go and put some ammo in these things. Um, we gotta figure out our power situation. Most likely, the thing to do would be to. Um, well, I'm gonna keep my rotten flesh. No idea. Ah, not in there. Um, most likely the thing to do will be to... Um, do two things at once. Doesn't work out well for me. Um, get solar panels going. I got a feeling that's probably the way to go. Uh, now that we're actually making fuel, which is a great thing, we're also going to have to do a resource run, I think. I mean, we got a fair bit of iron still here, but I think we want to go out and grab more. I think we're going to need a ton more steel. Now, I've been trying to make steel um, in the interim. Let's just drop this in there. Just so that we've got some ahead of time. Uh, slag we've been dropping in here. So, I mean, we got, what, one, two, and a bit stacks of steel. I don't see any more here. I think we're going to need a heck of a lot more than that. So uh, we'll have to be making more um, at some point. Let's put these in here. I'll put these buckets over here. Make them easier to spot. Singularity tank. Uh, let's drop you down here for now because i got a feeling we'll be needing you. Uh, and where have we been putting all our... Uh... You know what? Forget it. We'll just drop these in here. Fine. Um, yeah, so we'll need to make uh, some solar panels just so that when we start making fuel and stuff, I want to pump this out into tanks. We still have, yeah, it's still got a ways to go. At least we've got a really steady input of water now, which is great. I'm kind of glad it doesn't drain that water block. Um, but yeah, so that's done out there now. Um, okay, let's see our quest book here. Our unclaimed quest. 
automation. Oh, the pump. Okay. Singularity tank, lever, and pressurized fluid conduit. Nice. Hooray! Compactor, which is for crushing uh, cobble, which we don't really need right now. Controlling. Drawer controller for storages, store edges. Green Acres, Power Reserves Mark II. We want to make a capacitor bank. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to definitely need um, more power storage. So let's make the Tier 2. Uh, yeah, so... Capacitor bank. We've got the Tier 1, the basic. We want to make the second one. Energetic alloy, empowered redstonia crystal, double layer capacitors, which are energetic alloy, and basic capacitors. So we need uh, a fair bit of stuff for this. Um, so, so we need 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 energetic alloy, uh, which is, sorry, which is what? Um, double layer capacitor, energetic alloy. Uh, how do we make this again? Alloy smelter, ender pearls, and energetic alloy make vibrant. How do you make the energetic? I thought it was like redstone and something. Oh yeah, redstone, gold, and glowstone, which shouldn't be too bad. Um, do we have any in here? We don't. Gold, and where's our glowstone? Got a fair bit of that. Let's make 21. So, a redstone, gold, and glowstone. Let's just get those going. They're going to take a while, so let's let them sit. Um, basic capacitors, we need copper, we need redstone. Gold nuggets. Uh, let's grab the copper. Um, gonna need a bunch of gold nuggets and a redstone, which we've still got a ton of. Now, um, gold nuggets. So I gotta figure out how many we're gonna need here. So we need double layer capacitors, right? Which have two per. We need four of these. So we need uh, eight basic capacitors. So, eight of these guys, eh? Plenty of resources for that. Alright, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's all we should make for now. I don't want to do too much resource-wise. And what do we need for the center? Carbon dust, which we've got. We've been collecting that from the, uh, the sieves that we've got running. Let's just leave this over here. I don't know. I really got to get this organized. <laughs> it's just a jumbled, chaotic mess. All right, you can go in there. Uh, you can go in there. Another singularity tank. An extra lever can go in there because we really need that. And we need our carbon dust, which we've got eight of here. And then we just need to get this finished up. How are we doing? Eleven. So we can make our double layers now. We only need four of these guys. Oh, yeah, right. Durr. So four of those guys, and then we need to do... What did I say we needed to do after that? Capacitor bank. Got four. So we just need the empowered redstonia crystal. So it's empowered redstonia block is the best way to go. How do we make these again? Uh, is redstone... Right on the empowerer. So we toss these guys down here, right? There we go. So we got nine of these and I was told, and I can't remember who it was, I apologize, but I was told the best way to maximize your uh, crystal creation, like empowering stuff. Oh, I gotta figure out how to empower this first. Um, the best way to do it 
is to um, do them by blocks because it uses up less energy. So we need a brick, redstone, nether brick, and a rose red. That should be okay. So a redstone. All right, let's stop this now. Nice. Okay, redstone, a brick. We should have a brick in here. A nether brick. Now, I thought we picked up nether bricks. Did we keep them somewhere? Okay, there's another brick. Uh, and what was the other thing we needed? Rose bread. I got to actually remember that. Um, and we can just use one of these guys to get that. I believe. Yes, perfect. All right, let's go do this. Now, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's for the... Is that for the whole block? Um, oh, come on. Uh, is that for the whole block? It is. So another brick, rose red, brick, and redstone. So... Okay, another brick. Rose red. Brick. And redstone. And then we do this. Hooray! Hope we got enough power for this. Oops. Did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. We should have enough power for this. These things have been charging forever. Come on. You can do it. I just need one. There it is. Nice. So now we can take this. Split it apart. Now we've got nine. Hooray. Resource friendly. Thank you. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I apologize for not knowing the person's name. But thank you for the suggestion. I really appreciate it. You'll be able to see it in the comments. Uh, go find out who it was. Um, because that was all their idea, not mine in any way, shape, or form. All right, perfect. Nice. Uh, we're out of... Did we get bring... Oh, we brought enough. Okay, so we need four of these. And we needed four of these. And we needed one of these. And there's the capacitor bank. Let's go put that upstairs. Now, um... Let's do it in a way that's going to be friendly. Yeah, that drained our entire bank. And our machines downstairs are doing a number on this. Um, yeah, this probably like drained everything. It's full now again. That's full. That's full. That's full. Um, it's probably the pump and everything that's draining all the power. We're definitely going to need to figure out a power situation now. Uh, but let's complete this quest. I feel pretty good. We accomplished a fair bit today. Octatic capacitor. Nice. Emeratic crystal. Uh, nice. Okay, so what else do we have? Mark three power reserves we're not going to do today. Uh, how are we doing here? So we need to f get a tank of rocket fuel. Alright, so let's get a couple of tanks made. Um... Okay, uh, we've got oxygen. Actually, I can take these downstairs and we can dump those in to complete this quest. I think we can just drop them. Uh, this is the hydrogen side, correct? We got four buckets back, really? And this is the oxygen side, right? Why is that not transferring? Um, I think we need a transfer node. I think that's what's gonna we're gonna need here. Well, at least we can do it this way. That will make it 
work out. Right? Yeah, I think we need to have a, 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 a transfer pipe on there. Okay, so that's the fluid hatch. Now if we turn this on, right, that should start making this into rocket fuel. Where is our output hatch again? Is it at the back? Of the that's a regular output hatch. Oh, the fluid hatch is like back here. Um, damn it. Ah. Right there. Wait, that's an input hatch. Oh, do we just put... I think we can just put... Uh, no, apparently not. Can't be buckets. Okay, so it is slowly doing stuff. But I think probably we just don't have enough in there yet. So I'm going to leave one bucket in there. Uh, I think it's just going to take a long time. Yeah, this is converting really slow. So we're going to have quite a while to wait, which means we need to up our power game. I think probably the issue right now is the power draw. Let's go have a look at what we're looking at for draw up here. I think we're like... Yeah, we're not getting any power in here at all. So we're going to have to figure out what to do here. Most likely it's going to be solar panels. We can cover all this with panels or something. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to figure that out. Um, but that's going to be for next episode. I think I'll leave this episode here. Uh, I think we accomplished a fair bit of stuff, which is kind of nice. I feel good about what happened today. We did get uh, at least the rocket fuel working down here. Got our electrolyzer working. Figured out the, the uh, water situation, which is great because I... I thought for sure we would just be able to use uh, the regular uh, transfer node, but nope, we need a fluid pump for that. So that's fine. At least it's working. Uh, it's drawing power too, I think. It's got a ton of buffer water. So, I mean, we could probably turn it off to save some power. I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, the buffer of water will slowly start to drop. Yeah, it's not even moving very fast. And we got a 16,000 uh, millibucket tank downstairs too that's hooked up. So that's like 48,000 millibuckets that it's got to go through before we need to turn this thing back on again. So we'll be saving some power, although I don't know. It won't be all that much power we're saving. Let's have a look here. I don't even think we're going to be getting any, generating any extra. Nope. Well, it should be going in here first. No, we're not. Um... Let's hope for rain squalls because that will uh, increase the amount of energy we get. But yeah, I'm going to work at uh, figuring out how to do sol solar panels. So next episode it will definitely be a power generation um, thing. Definitely going to have to get that going. At least we're j slowly making rocket fuel, which is great. I guess I should have put a bigger a, uh, a bigger um, engine in there. But uh, we could probably do that later on. We'll upgrade it to something better. And we got our steel going here still. So I'm going to leave the episode there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And do know that I am going to be continuing this series. It's just going to take me a little while to get back into it. Uh, Rogue Tech, uh, the new version of Rogue Tech will be up sooner or later. And I will be doing more Rogue Tech stuff too. Uh, so keep your eye open for that. Uh, my 7 Days to Die, I will be doing that. I'm going to be trying to batch record that though. Uh, so there may be a bunch of episodes that release a bunch of days in a row. And then after that... Um, most likely what will happen is there'll be a, a, a little hiatus while I'm able to uh, get at least a cool day up here in the attic to be able to record more than that. Uh, and then do a bunch of them in a row so I can release them in a day-by-day -day basis. All right, but I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, and until next time, we'll see you all later.